Once the fire is contained, the crew boss must continue to ensure adequate supervision, work to maintain motivation, and promote crew member awareness to the hazards that still exist. Many small fires during the mop-up stage have escaped control and consumed thousands of acres. Injuries are common and many fatalities have occurred during the mop-up stage. The crew boss must begin early during the line construction phase to plan and organize for an eventual mop-up operation. When receiving a mop-up assignment for his or her supervisor, the crew boss should thoroughly understand all mop-up specifications. It is critical every crew boss start the mop-up assignment with a size-up of the assigned area while simultaneously implementing LCES. Crew deployment should occur only after LCES has been established. Determine how your crew should be deployed to meet the initial demands in stabilizing your assigned area. This may require various crew configurations or functions, such as gridding with one or more squads, or pairing up crew members to be safer and more effective. Identify critical threats to the line as priority and assign appropriate crew personnel and resources. Once the crew boss has developed a plan, the next step is to brief the crew. If the crew boss cannot personally brief the crew, designate a squad boss to conduct the briefing. It is recommended the briefing be held with all crew members in attendance rather than in small groups. Coordinate your actions with adjoining forces and request additional equipment and resources to accomplish the assignment such as water handling equipment, air support, or mechanized equipment. Remember, mop-up along with line construction is accomplished during daylight and night conditions. Night conditions pose an additional safety element the crew boss must consider in how crew personnel can be safely deployed. Primary crew boss responsibility during mop-up is to ensure the crew is functioning effectively and safely. Crew bosses must maintain their vigilance to identify hazards on mop-up assignments. Hand crews are often utilized for the rehabilitation of burned areas. The crew boss's responsibility is to ensure the crew follows the rehabilitation standards set forth in the Incident Action Plan. IAP. The crew boss may work closely with or for a rehabilitation specialist.